Welcome to our Flipped Classroom video, an introduction to part, part, whole. Today we're going to be talking about how two parts make up a whole. I have one whole garden. My garden is made up of two parts. It's made up of white flowers and pink flowers. To figure out how many flowers are in my whole garden, I'm going to start with counting my parts. First, I'm going to count how many flowers are in the white part of my garden. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five. I have five flowers in the white part of my garden. On my part, part, whole mat, I'm going to fill in five. Five white flowers. Then I'm going to count the other part of my garden. I have a pink part also. I have one, two, three flowers in the pink part of my garden. I'm going to fill that in in my part, part, whole mat. Now I can see that I have five white and three pink. To figure out how many are in my whole garden, I'm going to count both parts together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight flowers in my whole garden. When I put my five and my three together, I get my whole, eight. The two parts make up the whole. Let's try another one. Here I have one tree full of birds. I have two different types of birds. Those are my two parts. I have red birds and I have owls. To figure out the parts, I'm going to count each one separate. First, I'm going to count the red birds. I have one, two, three, four. I have four red birds. That is part of my tree. But I also have another part that's different than the red birds. I have owls too. The owls are the second part. Let's count how many owls I have. One, two. I have two owls. Let's put that on our part, part, whole mat. When I look at my part, part, whole mat, I can see that I have four of one part and two of another part. Four red birds, two owls. Now I need to know how many birds are in my whole tree. To figure out how many birds are in my whole tree, I'm going to count my parts together. Count with me this time. Let's figure out our whole. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six birds make up the whole tree. Four red birds and two owls make six birds in all. Two parts make my whole. Let's try one more. We have a pond. I have two different parts in my pond. I have frogs and ducks. To figure out my two parts, I'm going to count them separately. First, I'm going to count the frog part and put it on my part, part, whole mat. Count the frogs with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six frogs. Those six frogs make up part of my pond. Next, I'm going to count the ducks. Count the ducks with me. One. I have one duck. That makes up the second part of my pond. To figure out the whole, I need to count both parts together. You, you are going to figure out the whole on your own. To figure out the whole, 
count my six frogs and my one duck together. Go ahead and count. You need to record the whole on your homework sheet. Thank you for watching our introduction to part part whole. I look forward to seeing you in school tomorrow to learn more about this.